Question number 11. A rectangular box has dimension 30 cm by 10 cm by 5 cm. A container holds exactly 100 of these boxes. Calculate the total volume in cubic meters of those 100 boxes. So, um, total volume, let's say A, total volume. So, there are 100 boxes and each of them have these dimensions. So, 30 times 10 times 5, that's cubic centimeter. But I have to give the answer in cubic meters. So keep that one as it is 100 times 30 times 10 times 5. And this 1 cubic centimeter can be written as 1 by 100 meter cube. Okay, since 1 centimeter equal to 1 by 100 uh, meter. So it's actually 100 cubed cubic meter. So that's actually when we extend it. It's going to be 100 times 100 times 100 cubic meter. So 1, 2, 1 to cross out, 1, 2, 1 to cross out. So below here in the denominator, I have 100. So it's going to be 15 divided by 100 cubic meter. So two digits. So 1, 2 point is over here. That's going to be... 0 0.15 cubic meter. All right, question number 11b. Each box has a mass of 1.5 kg to the nearest 0 0.1 kg. The empty container has a mass of 6 kg nearest to 0 0.5 kg. Calculate the greatest possible total mass. So mass of one box, mass of one box. Okay, since it's greatest, I have to take the upper bound of that. 1.5 plus 0 0.1 divided by 2. That's going to give me 1.5 plus 0 0.05. And that's going to be 1.55. That's kg. Okay, that's kg. And the empty container. So mass of the container. Container equal to 6 kg plus 0 0.5 divided by 2 kg that's going to give me 6 plus 0. Uh, 0 0.5 is 0 0.25 that's going to give me 0 0.25 kg now what i need to do total mass so total mass would be see remember there were 100 boxes so 100 times 1.55 and the container is 6.25. So that's going to be 155 plus 6.25. Then uh, 155, 6, 161.25. So it's 161.25 kg. That's done. All right. Now question number 12. Uh, function of x is given. 4x plus 3 divided by 2x. So what would be function of 3? So 4, we replace x's value by 3, plus 3, then 2 times 3. That's going to be 12 plus 3. Let me write down 12 plus 3. And this is 6. So that's 18, sorry, 15 divided by 6. Simplify that. Uh, 5 threes are, and 3 twos are, so 5 by 2. And so it can be written as 2 and a half or or 2.5 either one will do so 2.5 now inverse function of x so let's take this one y equal to 4x plus 3 divided by 2x multiply that to xy bring this four okay keep this one one step at a time so 2xy minus 4x equal to 3 taking x common so i have 2y here minus 2 that x common 2y and from here uh, 2 equal to 3 so it's x equal to 3 to actually this is 4 see taking only x common so 2y minus 4 so inverse function of x would be 3 2 by 
x uh, 2x minus 4 you can either keep this way or take two common doesn't matter i'll keep this way 3 divided by 2x minus 4 okay so that's the answer now next one okay next one is a family wants to move uh, to an e-house uh, the area where they are going to look depends on the position of the children's school S. That's this one, children's school. Uh, the father's works uh, place of work, that F, and the market M. Okay, so depends where, where the house is going to be. The diagram in the answer space is drawn to a scale of 1 centimeter to 1 kilometer. Remember that. It shows the position of S, F s f and m the house needs to be within four kilometer of the children's school one centimeter equal to one kilometer okay so what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna draw a four centimeter line okay since this four centimeter will represent four kilometer okay since one centimeter equal one centimeter equal to one kilometer so this is four centimeter four centimeter represent four kilometer so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take this one the length of arc length of that uh, the radius of this okay or the length of this and then from this school okay uh, within four kilometer of the children's school so from this I'm going to draw a circle with this length and this length is going to be 4 and that 4 is the radius of the circle. So this is the locus. Okay, so that's 10. Nearer to the market, nearer to the market, then the father's place of work. So if I join this, you don't need to join that, but it's better. It looks probably, it, it's going to look better. Okay, nearer to that. So I have to bisect this to get the equal distance from two points and to do that take any radius but approximately more than half of that okay uh, so i'll just take one arc over here and draw another arc over here and from center f with the same radius draw two arcs on both sides of mf and then if i join this join this then I'm going to have this straight line over here passing through this. Now let's read that. So within four centimeters, so four centimeters from here, near to the market, then uh, to the father's place. So near to the market, then father's place. Okay. Use one and two to construct the approximate loci. So I have done that. Shade the region of the diagram that represent possible position of the house. So it's four centimeter from here and nearer to the market. So everything uh, on the right of this line is near to the father's office. Near to the market is this particular place. So I'll shade this one. I'll just shade this part over here. Okay, you can just draw this parallel line like that. And that can mean the shaded region. Okay, so that's done. Shade the region. Uh, we did that. Find the greatest possible distance between the house and the market. So uh, it can be anywhere over here. But if you if you look closely, this particular place is the furthest. Okay, if you go beyond this, it's gonna be more than four kilometer. So this is the furthest point from the marketplace. Okay, so the house, the furthest place of the house sh should be this one. Okay, and the market. So what you can do, you can you can either join this line or not. It doesn't matter. Okay, so that's going to be my house over here. Okay, find the possible distance. So we're gonna find, we're gonna measure the distance over here. Uh, according to my diagram, I got 10.1. So 10.1 centimeter. Since one centimeter represents one kilometer, it's gonna be. 10.1 kilometer okay let's do number 14 okay number 14 the diagram below sho below shows three triangles uh, q r s q r n s the triangle t is the image of triangle q under the translation minus two 
one that's column vector so each of them will come to each of the vertices will come to this uh, two units to the left and one units up so this is going to be minus one minus two that's minus two and that's that and this is going to be minus to this side one over here and this is going to be minus two one over here so that's my under the translation okay minus two one okay so triangle t so this is going to be triangle t over here okay describe fully the single transformation that maps that's b triangle q onto triangle r q onto triangle r by looking at it if you just look a little bit um, then you can you can see that this point is over here and this point is over here so somewhere this line okay i'll just draw this line okay that's i hope you know the uh, equation of this line this is y equal to minus x this line is y equal to minus x so from here and here um, see that one and half diagonally one and half unit and one and half unit over here and this is one two two and half units and from here one two half units so this is actually reflection reflection on y equal to minus x two marks two pieces of information to recognize it's a reflection and then y equal to minus x okay now find the matrix represent the transformation that maps triangle q onto s q onto s uh, again if you look at it uh, there's two probably it looks something like this this triangle is rotated 90 degree to triangle s about the origin let's see uh, this is the origin zero zero and this is one of the point if i rotate it 90 degree so it's gonna be two units on my right one unit below so two units i i put it back again 90 degree so two units and below one and then over here three units three unit three units right three units below go back to original position three units right three so this is 90 degree rotation about the origin clockwise okay so it's just one more question it's going to be zero minus one one zero okay you need to memorize that okay i hope you have seen my rotation video on this it's, it's a really simple okay now question number 15 find a b so product of a b now you can write down two one minus one three multiplied by four one minus three zero and you know that it goes like this okay so two times four is eight plus minus one times one that's minus one plus minus minus one okay then this and that minus six two times minus three that's minus six and minus one times zero is zero and then it goes this way one times four is four then plus three times one is three then this and that minus three and this is zero so i'm gonna have eight minus one is seven this is minus six this is four plus three is seven then this is minus three so i can write on the answer space seven seven minus six minus three now we're gonna go for b inverse b inverse is one by determinant that four times zero is zero minus this is my product of this uh, diagonally this way is minus three minus minus plus that's three and they switch its places zero four and these two elements they don't switch their places they just uh, change their sign so plus three and minus one so i can write down one by three zero minus one three four you can multiply them out each of the elements with that but i i, I love to keep it this way zero minus one three Four. it's a waste of time okay solve the inequality question number 16 so uh, i have x over here i'll take this three that side so minus 2x is less than 5 when i transpose this 3 to other side it's going to be minus 3 so it's minus 2x is less than 2 now whenever i take this minus to that side divide you know that inequality when we divide or multiply by minus sign then this inequality sign changes so x is going to be greater than 2 divided by minus 2 so x is greater than minus 1 so this answer is going to be x is greater than minus 1 the next one 
solve the equation that this is pretty simple one 3y plus we are just taking the bracket of 3 to the 6 then over here 2 to the 4y minus 2 7 the 14 plus y so this 4 and y is 5y bring this 3y that side minus 3y bring this 14 to this side so 6 plus 14 so this thing is going to be 2y and this is 20 or we can write down uh, bring this 2 to that side 2 divide, 20 divided by 2 is y therefore y equal to 10 so this is y equal to 10